Yep. Oh, there you go. That's uh, a feisty little fish. G'day, I'm Gavin from Hurley's Fly Fishing and welcome to another episode of On The Fly. We're just off the main road. You can probably even hear some cars passing as, as, we, uh, as we go. And you don't have to get too far off the beaten track to get some fantastic fish like that. That's a lovely rainbow, just great fun on light gear. What we've got, we've got a Stalker Glide in a two weight uh, on a Galvin reel, which is one of the, the best reels in the world, and a nice dull coloured fly line. So it's just ideal for this sort of scenario, um, fishing and catching, uh, targeting smaller fish like this. Now this river will have fish you know, up to you know, like four pound and uh, there's been some absolute monsters caught out of here as well. But generally most of your fish you're gonna get maybe half a pound to a pound. Uh, and pretty good fun on light tackle. But uh, I'll bring him this one over and we can have a closer look. Now what we've got there, he's taken the, um, uh, the nymph and we have like a, just a little, a little brown nymph uh, with, with a black bead. Early in the season, I like to use like a gold bead, so um, it's much more visible. But once they've been fished out a little bit, I tend to go to a black bead, so it's a little um, more natural, and they tend to take it a little bit more readily. But, uh, well, there you go, he's off. But a great little fish, and that, that's what you're gonna target in, in, a, in a river like this. Fish of you know, half a pound to a pound are gonna be great fun in here, and you literally can catch lots of them. So uh, you get a lot, of, a lot of practice, and it's a great place to be. So uh, hopefully there's a bigger one further up. There, perfect. Who said you couldn't catch bridge fish? Look at that. Just we've got a car just racing overhead. We've got a, uh, oh, has he snagged me? Got a little, little fish he might have. Uh, uh. All right, well that can, uh, sometimes happen. Maybe you can't catch bridge fish all the time. So he's, uh, and that, that's what happens sometimes. He's taken the, uh, the dry fly and he'll uh, swim under like a log. And then you've got the trailing nymph and that'll attach to that. And it just gives uh, him plenty of perch just to be able to rip that off. So uh, yeah, it's a shame he was going back anyway, but um, would have been nice to hang on to him, hang on to him for a little bit longer. And to get under, when you've got an obstacle like that, we can't obviously do a, a normal cast. All it is is to turn the rod on the side and that just gets that angle to be able to, you still cast it exactly the same with pauses and uh, shooting line, but it just gets it at a level lower to the water and allows you just to shoot under obstacles, whether they be trees or in this case bridges. Um, there's, there's, there shouldn't really be too many positions where a trout or any fish can be that you can't target with a fly rod. So that was good. It's a nice little pool that we've got here and, and you sort of, I mean, fish like, like any other species, like a um, little bit of protection as well. And they'll get that in the depth there. And uh, when, it, when, when a bit of tucker like that comes by, 
they're, they're just, they're ready for it, you know? So, and that's, when I would look at that, why would I cast there? You've got a little bit of bubble line, a little bit of flow of water. He's got protection, should a cormorant or a, a cagey fly fisherman come to uh, annoy him, and he can duck in there out of trouble. Uh, and that's a, that's a lovely fish. I mean, that's a brown, um, which are, yeah, they're fantastic as well. And uh, yeah, he's a good, probably a pound or so, which is terrific in a lovely small little river. Um, and I keep saying it, but once you get the right gear to tackle these fish, you know, if you're using a six weight, it's long it's t and it's, it's going to splat down, scare the fish, and it's not really much fun. Whereas you get a two weight, something like this is ideal. Um, you have a whole lot of, lot of fun, your presentation is much better, and it's all about enjoyment, and that's what you can get when you use the right gear. So. Uh, Look. Well, that's a lovely brown on the Stevenson River and his uh, lovely red spots on that. Yeah, they're just an amazing uh, fish, completely different to the, to the rainbows. And uh, they're a little bit more cautious, I guess. And we'll just get him back in. We can talk about him for hours, but um, they're a little bit more cautious than, than the rainbows. So we'll just hold him up current until he's uh, ready to swim out of our hands. And all of these smaller rivers, like we, we're always catch and release. I mean, you can really decimate a river pretty quickly uh, by, by keeping everything that you catch or keeping even, even um, half the fish you catch. Now, he'll, he'll we'll let him go in at the territorial. He'll go back to that log uh, and he'll be caught over and over again. So they're, um, they're a, a pretty unique sort of fish that, that can be, be caught and caught and the enjoyment shared. So uh, look after the fishery by putting them all back uh, and you're really going to enjoy them. So, uh, yeah, it's good to go now. Swim out of the hands, that's good. And uh, I think there's a few more fish uh, further up there as well. So, uh, let's see if we can go and tackle those. We've got a, uh, a fish rising just up here on the left. I'm going to leave the, uh, the dry on and the nymph, and he may take either. Oh, and I think he might have taken the nymph. Just went under. And they generally won't take it twice. If he's taken that nymph, he'll taste that and know it's not food, uh, spit it out and know that there's something wrong. And, and they're, they're, sometimes they're pretty difficult to get to, uh, to take twice. You just can't help but have another cast at him. 